Thank you very much. Uh, I'm very glad to be here uh, today uh, and to meet uh, in real person uh, four C member after more than two years of uh, a Zoom meeting. My name is Bertrand Moal. I'm a French uh, medical doctor uh, in uh, public health. And during my residency, I work uh, on uh, uh, 4C for the University Hospital of Bordeaux. And in parallel, I uh, create a startup with my brother Oliver, um, Deski, uh, and we are developing software to support the democratization of uh, cardiac ultrasound imaging. Uh, so thank you very much for the uh, Transmart, uh, uh, E2B2 Transmart Foundation to invite us to present our work. To be honest, I think uh, our work is a bit far from uh, the E2B2 uh, community. So we try to uh, access our uh, presentation on simulated data to be aligned with the main team of uh, Digital Twin. All the work I will uh, present today has been performed by the Deski team and in partnership with the University Hospital of Bordeaux and uh, in particular the Professor Stéphane Lafitte. Uh, I will start with just some backgrounds on uh, echocardiography, uh, which is a key exam for analysis of cardiac structure and function. Echocardiography has key in advantage. Uh, it's a non-invasive uh, imaging modality, affordable. Now you have um, uh, ultrasound imaging, ultrasound probes that can be connected directly to a smartphone and tablet. And so this imaging modality is potentially available at the point of care at home or in assisted living uh, facility for elderly people. Those advantages are very interesting regarding the fact by uh, 2035, almost half of the American population will suffer from cardiovascular disease. By bringing care closer to the patient, ultrasound imaging could be an efficient tool to address this large care demand. The problem with ultrasound uh, imaging is that it's limited by the number of experts, which is poor. Why? Because the acquisition is complex of this image and highly operator dependent. When an operator is performing a, a cardiac ultrasound imaging, he has to put the probe on the chest of the patient and find a diagnostic quality view. Those uh, views are well est established by a cardiologist. They are cut uh, in, three uh, in two dimensions of uh, the heart. But the problem is that there is a large variability uh, between patients in terms of anatomic and anatomical variability, and also that the rib are an obstacle to the ultrasound signal. In, the, uh, in parallel, the training programs are overcrowded and uh, very time consuming. So how could quickly any healthcare professional perform a cardiac ultrasound exam? So with Deski, we develop, uh, yes, perfect, uh, we develop a software, Earth Focus, that uh, guide in real time the operator to perform an ultrasound cardiac exam. On the right of the video, you have an operator performing a cardiac ultrasound imaging, and on the left, uh, our software. Uh, so uh, on the, um, so uh, we develop a user interface that works as a game. So uh, as you can see, the blue uh, triangle um, is linked to uh, the position on the probe um, uh, on the chest and only based on the image we are able to guide him and so the objective for the operator is to put the blue uh, triangle on the gray triangle to know which movement he need to perform and so for example in this example you will see that there is a shift of the blue triangle so the operator need to uh, go on the right to perform a translation to obtain a diagnostic quality view and so when the uh, view is obtained you have a signal uh, in green. So, yes, so to develop this algorithm, we had to uh, develop two, uh, uh, to develop the software, we had to develop two algorithms. One uh, which will be able to, which is able to classify each image in three categories. Is the view a diagnostic quality view? Is there enough information in the view to uh, guide people? Or is uh, the last uh, category is uh, image without enough information to uh, potentially guide the user? And the second algorithm is uh, an algorithm to guide. So based on an image, we are able to provide uh, the movement to uh, perform to obtain this diagnostic quality view. And the movements, we have two translations. Uh, we remove one because the probe has always need to be uh, on the chest of the patient and three rotation. So uh, with our partnership with the University Hospital of Bordeaux, it was easy to find uh, ultrasound image to uh, develop and train the first algorithm. 
The problem is as uh, for the second one, we had to have a database with ultrasound imaging associated with a prop position. And so those data are not available in the clinical process. So we had to develop a full uh, protocol to acquire uh, this type of data. So we uh, choose to um, uh, connect a, a probe uh, to a computer and uh, connect this computer also to a, a optical tracking system to um, uh, perform cardiac ultrasound imaging uh, while tracking the position of the probe with an optical tracking system. It took us four months to uh, perform uh, and to be sure that uh, our protocol was uh, uh, enough accurate and uh, reproductible. And after, we had to collect data on volunteer and patients. So it takes a, lo a lot of time to obtain the correct data to uh, train and validate our algorithm. And so the question for us was, how could we start data science work without data? And that is why we use simulated data. We had the opportunity with um, uh, a public uh, 3D open uh, data set of uh, mesh of the earth. So 24 uh, mesh of earth generated from CT. Based on this, um, based on this uh, database, the team um, uh, create with a statistical shape model 1,000 hertz model, and so based on this uh, 3D image, we were able to uh, generate a database with ultrasound fake ultrasound imaging and a, a fake position of a virtual probe. So how we did that? So based on the 3D image of the hertz we create a 2D mesh of uh, diagnostic quality view, and we're able to uh, reproduce the position of the probe to obtain those view and create an ultrasound image, fake ultrasound image. We also perform that on other random uh, probe position to create a full database, and we're able to um, um, train and validate a first algorithm only based and trained on virtual data. And you have an example here in which in blue, you have the target position, so the position of the probe at the diagnostic quality. And uh, in, uh, uh, sorry, in green, but in blue, uh, a virtual probe uh, that, is, uh, that is guided by our, uh, an algorithm, um, which give him um, the, um, the indication on how to move uh, to uh, uh, reach the target position. And so the probe uh, simulates the movement of an operator uh, following correctly uh, the guidance provided by the algorithm. So uh, our feedback on virtual data, uh, virtual data give, uh, bring us uh, the proof of concept very quickly and cheaply uh, that it was possible based only on the image to guide uh, uh, um, operator to perform a cardiac ultrasound imaging. He helped us also to uh, better define our acquisition protocol and uh, give us uh, um, as, um, some time, uh, uh, help us to save some time on the analysis of real data. So uh, mostly on the, we, we were able to try different architecture, deep learning architecture, and evaluate different cost function. The limit uh, is that uh, we were not able to demonstrate that by training a first algorithm with uh, fake data, we were virtual data, we were able to improve the performance of our algorithm uh, trained uh, with um, uh, real data. Mainly uh, due to the fact that the quality of the ultrasound image we were able to generate was too far from a real data. So uh, in conclusion, the use of simulated data uh, for us was very important because it gave us the opportunity to gain some time and the confidence that it was able to, uh, uh, to guide people only, guide people performing uh, cardiac ultrasound only based on image. The limit of this, those virtual data was uh, that it didn't improve our uh, performance on real data. Um, however, we believe that there is a huge potential on using uh, virtual data for ultrasound imaging. And uh, we think that, for example, and we are working on that, uh, generating um, more um, uh, precise uh, virtual uh, data from ultrasound imaging based on CT. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.